Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to talk about kosher symbols. So we realized at some point that, hey, I think we need to be eating cleanly. We need to be eating according to God's commandments. And so we may be already trying to be vigilant about, well, I'm not going to order the pork or I'm not going to uh, get shrimp, for example. Uh, we may already be aware of that, but there are other things that could be going on in our food that we're not aware of yet. Uh, a lot of times people have an idea of what goes on in food production, uh, whether it be at a restaurant, people throwing together the food, or if it's at a store, a manufactured product, or even just produce on the shelf, for example. We have this idea of what was going on, when it was produced, and how it was made, and that idea may not be real. It may be kind of an imagination that we built up. And for this reason, for, for one reason, uh, there are kosher certification symbols that we can look for. A lot of products, a lot of uh, processed foods and otherwise packaged foods have symbols on them. And these symbols oftentimes indicate that a kosher certification agency approved of the product as being clean. So, for example, we may see on a product, and we've probably seen these before, but just haven't given them much attention, didn't know what they were, a symbol that looks maybe like a trademark symbol. Uh, for example, there's a, a U that has a circle around it. This is actually OU. It stands for Orthodox Union. And the fact that that symbol is on a product or on a package means that the Orthodox Union approves of it as being accordance to their criteria in accordance with their understanding of the law or possibly a more strict understanding of the law. And so this product is, according to the Orthodox Union, they have checked it out. They've checked out the ingredients. They've checked out how it is made. They've checked out the facilities even. And then they prove, okay, this is uh, good to eat. This is kosher. Uh, there are a lot of symbols out there, even beyond just the OU symbol. Uh, there's a circle K, which is actually OK. And there's a star K. And also we've got CRC. It's a triangle with uh, the letter CRC in it. And there's also a Kof K, which is the uh, Hebrew equivalent for the letter K. And a lot of different symbols out there that certify that a product is according to their understanding of the law. Now, I want to kind of elaborate on the understanding of the law, their understanding of the law. Uh, most of these groups are Orthodox Jewish groups, and they are uh, certifying things according to their Orthodox Jewish understanding of the law. And in my view, Orthodox opinion is not equivalent to written law. Uh, orthodox opinion in some ways conflicts with written law. But in general, a lot of these agencies actually certify to a more strict interpretation even than they personally believe. And so the Orthodox Union will certify things according to what they might consider an ultra-Orthodox interpretation of the law, which is even more strict. In general, what this amounts to for us in trying to observe the written law is that they will be adhering to the written law in their certification uh, with some more added restrictions that we wouldn't have added if we were just following the written law, for example. And so, in general, when we're looking at these products and we see, oh, OU, that means it's okay to eat in general. And uh, these, this would be a kosher choice, so to speak. Now, however, uh, we can kind of get into the the trap, whenever we start seeing these, we start seeing all kinds of symbols that we didn't realize were there before. Uh, not all of these symbols are kosher symbols. There can be uh, trade union symbols and other symbols on a product that don't mean it's certified. And also, there can be certifications that are not according to the same criteria. Now, I said that, for example, when we see OU, it means that the Orthodox Union certified it according to their understanding of the law. Well, there are other agencies that, of course, they have their understanding of the law, which is different. 
So there's one agency out there, I don't know what the, the symbol uh, stands for, or what the agency is behind it, but they'll actually certify uh, insect-derived ingredients. They'll certify unclean insect-derived products into the food, and so they'll put their stamp of approval on it, and that's a problem. Uh, there are also some other agencies out there that are kind of controversial, and I don't presume to know all the details on this one in particular, but a Triangle K is an example of this. It's a very common certification symbol. Uh, it does not, uh, well, I do not recommend it. I do not use it. There are some uh, controversial issues surrounding it. Also, we may see just a plain script K. It just looks like a normal K on the product, but obviously we're looking for these Ks and we're looking for these certification symbols. So, oh, okay, a K, that must mean it's kosher. Well, uh, it's not made according to some certification symbol for a reason. Uh, usually that's because it's a, just a marketing gimmick. And a lot of times from what I've seen, it actually means that it's not kosher. There's some problem with it. And now, sometimes there might have been some rabbi behind it that gave it a stamp of approval, so to speak, and that's the reason it has this plain script K on it. But uh, usually it's some rogue rabbi that has some uh, controversial interpretation of the law. That's the whole reason why it doesn't have a different symbol on it. That's the whole reason why they had to get the plain script K on it is because they couldn't get any other certification on it a lot of times. So we need to stay away from this plain script K's and we need to be kind of careful about which of these symbols that we tr uh, which of these symbols we trust. And one way about this is you could look at kosherquest.org has a list of symbols. Uh, these symbols generally use the same criteria. They generally uh, would be good and generally you're going to be kosher for us. So those are a good list to, uh, that's a good list to go off of uh, that you might consider checking out. Uh, be careful about, you know, just assuming that, well, what could be wrong with this? Uh, a lot of times we don't really know what's going on with food production. Uh, there have been a lot of things that I've learned over the years that go on. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't have even guessed. And so there are a reason why products are certified today. And it's very, very convenient to find products that do have certification symbols, even just at a regular supermarket. There are all kinds of products. It really surprises me considering how much of a minority we are in as far as even caring about clean and unclean and caring about kosher. It's really surprising how many products there are out there. And while maybe not the exact brand that you used to get, uh, maybe that's not going to be kosher certified, but you can probably find one that is. And a lot of times, even the cheapest brands are kosher certified, surprisingly enough. So, therefore, let's look for these symbols and uh, check out that kosherquest.org list uh, to see and uh, get an idea of what symbols are common in your area and are, are likely to be okay. And uh, use the big ones like Orthodox Union, Star K. Uh, those sorts of symbols, and uh, check out your food that you've got already, and check out food that you are uh, shopping for in the future. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like this video and to share it because you watched it to the end, and by liking it or sharing it, it brings it to people's awareness and allows people to act upon it or to give it more consideration. And feel free to subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that we can stay in touch so that you'll be notified of future videos, and because if you subscribe, I'll know that you're watching. And also, I have several other videos on related issues, on related clean and unclean and kosher concerns. Uh, we talk about uh, ingredients, trying to decide if a product is kosher or not based upon an ingredients list. And in the future, we'll be talking about some more issues as well. So thanks for watching. Remember the commands. Peace.